Hey winners, welcome or welcome back to this channel. I am Winnie, I make locks and travel content. If this is the first time you're watching a video of mine, welcome to this channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you're notified every single time that I upload. And if you're an oldie and you've come back to watch this face of mine, love you long time. How are you doing? Let me know, let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling as you are watching this video. Now, I'm actually really happy to be still here today to just have a conversation with y'all give y'all a few updates and all of that good stuff because i feel like as of lately i've kind of been on the go with my travel so i haven't really given a lock update now the funny thing is i actually tried to record this video a few weeks ago but then when it got to me uploading it onto my laptop it simply wasn't working which is probably for the best as what i said in that video and what i'm about to say now yeah, quite a few things have changed to be honest with you and also what was making me laugh was I was receiving some comments under I believe my last lock video of a lot of people advising me against some of the things that I had said and I was reading the comments like no you guys are right I feel the exact same way now I just haven't got around to doing an update okay so if you don't know already I am somebody that tends to change my mind quite a lot. I will say something in a video and then in a couple weeks time, I will change my mind. However, I generally feel like what I'm about to say is gonna be a lot different because I don't see myself changing my mind because I've been feeling this way for the last few weeks, okay? So, uh, firstly, I'm just gonna go straight to the point, as you can see by today's title. I've decided I'm no longer gonna retwist my locks, right? So anybody that had previously kind of given me advice and was like putting stuff under my videos like stop retwisting your hair, it's damaging your locks, yada yada and I kind of shut it down because I was very convinced at the time that due to my hair type certain things wouldn't work. I do want to apologise, please do extend some grace to me if you are watching this video. How that whole idea came about was I started to realise that I was feeling some type of way about my locks but I didn't, I didn't fully know what it was that I was feeling some type of way about. So all I knew is that I was no longer enjoying how it looks like when I have a fresh retwist. Actually, I would go as far as to say I didn't, I didn't like it. I don't like the scalpy look. Well, I no longer like the scalpy look, I should say. Um, I no longer like the idea of heavily manipulating my locks for it to look or for it to be a certain way. And actually, there was one day when I was just on YouTube. Actually, I was watching a Nollywood movie. If you don't know what a Nollywood movie is, it's basically a Nigerian film. And another locked YouTuber was suggested called Holistic Flow. And when a video popped up, the first thing that came to mind was, oh my gosh, like, her locks look really healthy, like, it's really full, it looks really healthy. And then I started to watch one video, then one video led to two, then two videos led to three. And then I also came across another YouTuber whose name I can't remember. So uh, I will research, and if I find her, I'll put her name on the screen. I believe she's Kenyan. Her locks look so healthy, absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, going back to Holistic Flow. Um, well, Holistic Flow and uh, the other YouTuber whose name I really can't remember. Both of them have semi-free form locks, right? For those of y'all that don't know what semi-free form is, I'm pretty sure that most of you do. Semi-free form is basically where you don't retwist your locks. However, when you do things like you wash your hair, you will gently just separate them so that they don't marry um, together across the roots. And um, some people like braid growth, like if their hair grows outside of the lock, they will braid the growth like around the lock. But apart from that, they don't retwist, right? And so I was watching Holistic Flow's videos and there was one video in particular where she said her hair at the front of her locks grows outside of her locks. And I was like, oh my gosh, just like me. Now the reason why I've, you know, felt some type of way about going without a retwist is because a lot of my hair towards the front of my locks comes out which then causes some of the roots at the front to then look thick so for me the idea of not retwisting and just leaving my hair alone 
didn't sit well with me because I'd just think to myself, oh my gosh, my locks at the front are gonna thin out and they're gonna drop and whatnot. And then, as I started to watch her videos, she was doing things like braiding um, the hair that grows outside of the lock into her lock, right? And there's also like various videos on the channel of how she like combines her locks and stuff like that, yada yada. Now, I don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long, so I am going to link like videos to, to her or just link her channel somewhere so that if you're interested you can go watch that for yourself so anyway long story cut short how it happened was some weeks ago if not like a month ago now I can't remember um I washed my hair and after I washed my hair I was looking at the mirror and I was like I really love how my hair looks like without you know a fresh retwist and all of that and I started like going through my locks and I know that some of my locks don't have like a solid root base so I combined quite a few of my locks can't tell you how many I combined off the top of my head I might want to say maybe I combined anywhere between four to six locks because I felt like the roots were thin and I had made my mind up from then on I would no longer be retwisting my hair so I did that I combined my locks Literally, I just put the lock that was thinning through one that was next to it that had a thicker root through the root, pulled it, and then kind of twisted it to the ends. But obviously, when you twist it, it just kind of goes apart, but it's still bonded from the roots, right? Um, and I adopted the braid method. So, for example, I have washed my locks yesterday. I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up. But um, I braided the hairs that were all like outside of the locks at the front. I've braided them all into nearby locks. Uh, guys, look, like, can you, can you guys see the root? I've never, well not never, but it's been a long time since my root has looked this good. But literally, I just braided um, all the baby hairs, or all the hairs that come out of it into each of the locks at the front. Obviously, after I'd washed my hair whilst I was in the shower, I gently just separated the locks that had married together, and that was it. Sometimes I will go through my locks to see if there's any like loose hair around, and then just wrap it around or just braid it into it, and that's it. And honestly, it's only been, I'm inclined to say it's only been about five, five weeks or so, that I've started to incorporate this method but I'm loving it I love the way that my locks look right now compared to how it was looking like some like a year or some years ago it's looking much more fuller it's looking healthy like let me just y'all can see can you see that look you got all that growth from the root here and then the lock literally starts here and honestly I absolutely love it and I'm really looking forward to how my looks are gonna look feel in like the next six to eight months when I haven't had a retwist so yeah in case if I'm not clear enough I'm embarking on a semi free form journey basically so I'm very happy to no longer have to retwist I'm very happy to no longer think about retwisting I'm very happy to be embracing a much more, what's the word, simple part of this lock journey. I've had my lock since 2011 and during that time I have actually gone a whole year without retwisting so I'm not new to this. It's just I think at the time when I tried it I just, I didn't even bother to maintain the front so I noticed that quite a few of my locks had suffered which is why I kind of thought to myself that with my hair type it wouldn't work but obviously like I said if I just braid the front and braid anywhere like else that my hair grows outside of the lock I will be fine and also this brings me on to my other point washing my hair now recently I've been a bit all over the place in regards to should I change my the amount of times I wash my hair is washing my hair frequently 
damaging my locks, yada yada, etc. And again, I was seeing comments about people being like, Winnie, I think you should watch this lock YouTuber, and they wash their hair every couple days or once every week, and they're free form or they're semi free form, and their locks are healthy. Them washing their hair often has nothing to do with damaging their locks. It's retwisting that damages locks, yada yada. And I'm like, yes, y'all, I I agree with you. Okay. I have decided to stick to my routine that I was mostly doing uh, for the majority of my journey and even way before I had locks I was always washing my hair at least once every two weeks I've been doing that lately because yeah I can't go I've, I've tried to go longer uh, there are some you know locked youtubers on here that swear by going like six to eight months without washing their hair or washing their locks like once every two months and stuff like that i've tried to go longer i at one point even felt that okay maybe going longer was benefiting my hair but as of lately again i don't feel that way uh lately a lot has changed for me personally even when it comes down to my routine i now go to the gym about four times a week and end up doing about a few double sessions during those days as well so i'm very sweaty i'm very active and i just don't like the idea of just walking around with a sweaty scalp for like a very long duration of time i like i said i've been very active uh, as of lately so i'm feeling good looking good hopefully i know y'all can't see like my full thick fit um and I've just been more focused on what I'm putting inside my body. I've been eating a lot more cleaner. I've been focused on being more hydrated, drinking a lot more water, drinking a lot more herbal teas. Um, also vitamins as well. I don't know who's interested, but uh, over the last few months, I have been very consistent with taking my vitamins. So I recently started taking cod liver oil. Um, I also take iron tablets. I also take vitamin C, I also take, I don't know how to pronounce this, is it Echania Force? I don't know, this is how it looks like, um, I might write it on the screen, but it's great for preventing like flus and colds, I've been taking this for years, won't lie. I also take vitamin D, I also take magnesium, and I also take spirulina. I also still use all plant made products in my hair. I use Inches Pro oil. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, even the oil, I don't really be using it too much nowadays, you know. I'd say on average, I probably use it maybe once to two times a week, if even that. The drizzle uh, spray, I, I do use regularly. I would like to say I use it at least every other day. I just love the spray. It's like giving my locks the moisture that it deserves. I also still use Rain, which is the shampoo bar. Yeah, that's more or less been what I've been doing in regards to my locks. So yeah, I just thought I would share that with y'all because it kind of ties in hand in hand with something that's a little bit of a different topic. Towards the ending of last year, I kind of woke up one morning and I decided that I was no longer gonna wear makeup. And that's not me saying that I will never ever wear makeup because I probably will maybe for like special events, special occasions and all of that. But I just felt like I was becoming very reliant on makeup and I know I haven't really addressed that on here but I think it's kind of visually, um, what's the word? You're able to see visually that as of lately, I've kind of come on here without an ounce of makeup. I didn't like feeling like I was relying on it. I didn't like feeling like I look better with it because I really want to embrace my natural beauty. And the same way as I want to embrace my natural beauty is also the same way that I want to embrace the way that my hair naturally goes from my scalp without too much um, manipulation in regards to my hair and without too much fuffing about when it comes to my physical features as well. So yeah, that's basically what's been going on with me. I thought I would share that with y'all. I hope that y'all have also been enjoying my travel content. Please do let me know your thoughts in a comment section below. Are you free-forming your hair? Are you semi-free-forming? Do you retwist? If so, how often do you retwist? Or just any other advice or tips that you feel that I would benefit from. I would really, really love to read your thoughts and interact with y'all. And as usual, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. And until my next one, take care, be good.